This one thing I've never heard anybody talk about, this sick, twisted phenomenon. When you can't receive medical care, when you cannot receive physical medical health care, and you can no longer manage, people will think that it's a mental health issue. My grass is over a foot tall already. Summer is just coming right now. My house is a disaster. I've been fighting for medical care for years. I've been about 17 years ago, I started sleeping four hours a night. About 12 years ago, I started sleeping three hours a night, literally fighting to survive, not understanding what's going on, fighting for medical care. 2017, I started sleeping one hour or two hours every 24 hours. That went on for more than four years. I am fighting to survive. I'm fighting for medical care. Your, your health issues will escal escalate and escalate. And people will think that it's a mental health issue. You're fighting for your life. And people will make this dumb assumption that it's a mental health issue. It's a mental health is issue that you can't take care of your yard anymore. It's a mental health issue. If I were sleeping, I could take care of my yard. If I were sleeping, I'd be working. If I were sleeping, I'd be able to take care of my house. I'm in medical crisis. People come into my home. If I let someone into my home, they think this is a mental health issue. I've been in two people's homes where I've walked in and the place was just such a disaster. And the immediate assumption is a mental health issue. And I have asked both, both these people, like in a, in a, hopefully diplomatic way, why, I don't mean to offend you, but why is your place, why can't you take care of your place? Is it a mental health issue or is it a physical issue or? People make this assumption that you, you've got to be nuts if you can't manage anymore. I'm, I'm going to end up losing my life because I can't get medical care. And people uh, think that this is a mental health issue. And when the medical system is failing you, they will make derogatory comments in your medical records. They will trump up mental health issues that you don't have. Here's another phenomenon that people don't understand. As you're fighting for physical health care and you, they suck you into psych and they'll put you on one medication and literally talk you into, well, let's just see if it helps. Let's just see. They'll talk you onto medications and then you're on a list of medications that people think you've got to be significantly mentally ill if you're on a couple medications. So now you're in the healthcare system and providers will see that you're on a couple medications, psych medications, and it's so easy to gaslight you and turn you away because now they have legitimate reason to go, no, nah, it's anxiety, it's depression, it's, it's trauma. It's, they don't have a medical issue. They have it's all psych, right? I had to get off medications to fight, fight, fight for medical care.
to fight for physical medical care. The f I don't understand. I don't understand why it took decades to diagnose sleep apnea, why it took over four months to diagnose broken bones, clear broken bones in my foot, broken metatarsals. I don't understand why it, it took decades to determine that I was severely having severe side effects from a medication. Severe sleepwalking, severe sleep eating. I don't understand what's happening here. Why, why a person can't get legitimate health care. I don't understand why I can't walk in somewhere and get help. I'm lo long off medications. I had to wean off medications so that I could try to fight for health care. But they build, someone said to me yesterday, I think at some point we're blacklisted. Yes, we are. They've created a, 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 negative, a negative narrative about us. They push us to the brink where we're ready to jump off. I've got an, a, a, an infection in my gut. I need help now. I need help. I need advocacy. I need someone to come with me. They push you to the point where you're losing your mind. And then they'll say it's a mental health issue. They brought me to the point where I was sleeping only one or two hours every 24 hours. They brought me to the brink of death. I am fighting for my life here. I've got some sort of infection internally. It's in my hair. It's in my ears. It's everywhere. I, it's not contagious. I know that. I need help. I need medical advocacy. I need someone to come and ensure that I get the care I need. I need help here. And, and this will not be misdiagnosed as a psych issue. People are being pushed to the point they can't manage. People are losing everything because they can't get regular health care. I fought to be diagnosed with sleep apnea. It took 40 years to fight to the point where it got life-threatening and they still didn't believe me. And I had to force them to diagnose me and force them to get, get give me treatment. This is unspeakable. I am going to lose my life if I don't get help, help right now.